Good evening, everyone. I'm really excited to take you through a nice, nourishing, invigorating um, yoga flow tonight here at Sunset. So we're going to start standing up, come to the front of the mat, place your feet right under your hips and just take a moment to close your eyes. Roll the palms facing forward. And connect with your breath for a moment. And letting every breath in be renewing your energy. And every breath out, letting go of your day so far. Feel the softness around your eyes. And let that sensation travel down through your jaw, through your throat, through your chest and belly, and all the way back down through the back body. And keeping your eyes closed, begin to reach your arms up, spread your fingers, Good, and then close the palms together and place the thumbs in between your heart or to your heart center. And just connecting inwards. Let this time be for you. Quiet the mind. And relax and stretch your body. Good. We're going to interlace the fingers, stretch your arms over your head and then bend your right heel. Change side, bending your left. Good. And then interlace your hands behind the back, pressing your palms together if you can. Lift the chest up, stretch the throat, lean the head back, bend the knees and fold forwards. So we're trying to get the chest and the thighs closing together at the same time as you're reaching your arms back and over the head and then release the fingertips to the floor inhale lift the heart exhale step the right leg back drop the knee down inhale reach your arms up sink the hips down and pull the left hip back Good, release. We're going to step forwards into the flat back, keeping the knees bent, breathing in. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, folding forwards. Into the flat back, lift the heart. And then step the left leg back, drop the knee reaching your arms up lift the heart keep reaching the arms back to open the chest and the hip and then release we're going to step forwards into flat back again inhale fold exhale stretching up inhale come straight down on this exhale fold into the flat inhale and this time step into the plank pose Bend your fingers, turn your elbows backwards and keep a slight micro bend in your elbows. Take one more breath and then lower all the way down, hug your elbows in. Lift the heart, breathe in. Sit the hips back to child's pose, breathing out. And we're gonna keep moving forward through the cat. Bend your elbows coming down. Lift up to the cobra back to child's pose one more time coming forward down cobra and into the child's pose continue this movement to sit on the heels and reach your arms up take the right fingertips down stretch into the left body changing side Same thing, but this time you're going to bring your left leg out. Bring it down. 
Same thing, other side, right leg out. Bring it down. And then we're gonna come into the first down dog. Take your feet quite wide, so as wide as the mat. This is gonna help you stretch out the back and open up the hamstrings for a nice long spine. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Take one more breath and then step the feet in hip width to the plank. Take the right knee down, modified side plank, open the left arm. Same thing other side. Left knee, left hand and open. Now the full side plank, stack the feet together. And then other side. Good, and then down dog. This time your feet as wide as your hips. Inhale, lift the heels up. Bend the knees, step to the front. Flat back, fold, and then inhale, reach up. Hands to the heart, exhale. Side bend again, but we're gonna take the left foot, just crossing behind the right. Sink the left hip out to the side and the left arm across. Now we're gonna balance into the right leg and turn it into a balance, half moon. So you sweep the left leg back, bring the right fingertips down. Hold, step back, and a nice deep warrior two. Arms out, gaze over the right shoulder. One more breath. Release your hands down, step to plank. Lower down, up dog, hold the up dog. Try to lift the thighs and the knees off the ground. Continue reaching the chest forward and the crown of the head up and back. One more breath, press back to down dog. Couple of slow breaths in and out through the nose. And then lift your heels, bend the knees, step forwards. Next inhale, heart lifts, fold it in, and then reach up, hands to the heart. All right, other side. We're going to take the right foot, cross it behind the left, send your hips to the right, and then reach the right arm across. One more breath. Now this is gonna go into that half moon balance. Feel the left leg grounding down and then start to reach the right leg back, the left fingers down. You can bend the standing leg here if you need to. One more breath. And then step it into warrior two. Big step back. Nice deep bend into the left knee. Arms straight, gaze over left shoulder. Keep pressing that left knee back. One more breath. And then release. Step into plank pose, lower down. And again, we're gonna hold the up dog. Lift the chest, press the hands straight underneath your shoulders as you lift the head up and back. Down dog. Nice. This time you're gonna bring the right leg up. Turn the hip open, turn the hip down. One more time, turn the hip open. This time you're gonna bend your knee and think of reaching the right heel towards the left butt. From here, pull the right knee into belly and step forwards. Twist the right arm open. And from this pose, we're gonna come into the uh, half moon balance again. Sweep the right fingers forward 
and lift up. Coming back to warrior two and adding a back bend to this one. Slide the left hand back then keep reaching up and back into the deep side bend of the right side. One more breath and release. Side flank on the left. Roll onto the left side, stack the feet. Nice. Lower down. Up dog. Straight into down dog. Left leg. So notice the hip is square. And then we open, square again, and open. Bend your knee, think of the left heel towards the right butt. Squeeze your thigh into belly and step forwards. Side, twist, balance, half moon. Warrior two, big step back. And then stretch backward. Keep leaning into it. One more breath. Release out. Inhale, plank. Lower down. Up dog. And then child's pose. Take a moment. Let everything soften. I like to rock a bit side to side to release the lower back. Soften the arms, the hands and the wrists. And then come to sit on your heels. Stretch your arms up. We're gonna open the shoulders as we use them a lot. So cross your right elbow over the left. Push your arms to the left, look over your right shoulder. Good, other side, inhale open. Left over right, if you can, clasp the hands together, push your arms to the right and the head to the left. Nice, inhale, arms up. Exhale, back to the down dog. I'm gonna add a few more bits and then we're gonna do some inversions. So take the right leg up, open hip, bend knee. Thigh goes to belly, step forward, twist. Same transition into the half moon balance. Warrior two. Reverse. Good. Now this is going to turn into a side lunge. So you're going to bend into the left knee and come all the way down. Stay on the left ball of the foot if your heel can't stay up. Then we come back to the twist and into the side plank. And release. Down. Up and back. Same on the left. Left goes up, open, bend into belly and step. Twist, balance, warrior two, into reverse. Now we're going into the side lunge on the right. So opening up and sink all the way down. Twist on the other side. Side plank, press the hand down under your shoulder and release. Drop the knees and relax a moment. Right, so I'm gonna give you three things to play with. Option one, if you've never done a headstand before, 
the first can be this. So you're going to make sure that you measure your elbows, place your elbows down. I don't recommend doing this on the surface the first time. Um, interlace your hands and all you're going to do is just bring your head down and up, head down and up. Just to feel, get a feel of what it feels like to have your head snugged into your hands. So the head goes in, keep the head, feet on the ground and you're going to lift and release and lift and release, lift, release. So that's step one. Do that as many times as you can when you get tired rest and then try again step two is coming into the full um, tuck headstand which is bringing your hips over your head and just keeping that position rather than straightening your legs right so both of this can be done with a wall behind you so you feel a bit more secure so that's the headstand practice for those who have been playing around on the hands, again, use the wall if you need to. We're going to come into the tuck from a squat. So the hop goes straight up. Think about reaching your hips up into the sky. Think about kicking the heels to the butt. So if you have a wall behind you, you can actually kick the feet on the wall behind you to come back down. So imagine the wall is there and you kick it back down. So then you know you always got the wall behind you. All right. Take a moment in child's pose. I'm going to demonstrate uh, the straight leg headstand as the final inversions before we relax. Uh, something that you can take away and practice on your own with a wall behind you whenever you're warm. So remembering to grab your elbows, keep that same distance of the elbows when your arms go down, interlace your hands, place your head in, roll into the tuck, then from here don't be in a rush to straighten both legs. Take one leg up, keeping the other knee hugging in. Then change. Now both doing that with a wall behind you will give you security. And release. I think this is my shortest class I've ever done in my life and I hope you've enjoyed so we're going to start lying down on the back just do a few stretches of the spine and the back of the legs and then a, a short relaxation so we're going to take your right knee into chest compress that thigh into belly and then bend your left knee in Bring the ankle across and lift your leg towards you. And this is a nice restorative version of the pigeon, if you know the pigeon. Very nice hip opener. Helps to release lower back pain. and generally mobility for a deeper squat. Other side. So you're gonna take your left knee, squeeze it in, compress. Bending your right knee in, bring the ankle across, keep that foot flexed, and then grab the right thigh and pull it towards you. So the reason why you keep the right foot, or sorry, this ankle here um, flexed is to protect the knee. If you keep your foot lazy, it's easy to twist all those ligaments in the knee, especially if your glutes are tight and strong. Now 
right release then take a bridge pose just to open up the front body and the hips so placing your feet parallel hip width be able to touch your heels elevate the hips interlace the hands and then walk your arms together so now the scapulas are squeezing together you can tuck the chin and come up even higher Some of you might be able to go all the way up into the full wheel, which would be flipping the hands next to the ears, hug your elbows in, and then think about pressing your chest uh, behind you. So the chest is gonna go through the arm, relaxing the head, relaxing the hips, and driving the, the lift from the heart. One more breath. Good. I'm gonna drop back down, tuck the chin. Send the feet out a bit wider and just let the knees drop side to side. If you're feeling any uh, pain in the back when you do that, it's an indication of something that you need to do to open up before coming into it fully. It used to hurt my back, now it doesn't hurt at all. <clears throat> so just make note of that. Poses should not hurt. There's discomfort, but there is a difference when something hurts. All right, from there, we're gonna just lift the hips up to the left, take the knees down, close the knees together and then relax into a twist. One more breath. Change sides, you're gonna bring your hips over to the right. And drop the knees. So your head is going the opposite side to the legs. And then we're going to take a couple of minutes in the final relaxation pose, Shavasana. So just let the palms roll open, relax the feet, relax the jaw and the eyes. And just take a moment to be with yourself in this present moment, observing the breath. Observing the body relaxing. Paying attention to all the details happening on the inside. And just notice how everything is just melting into the ground. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. And just be here quietly with yourself. Nice. So we're going to take a deep belly breath, let the belly expand. Exhale through the mouth. to open your eyes, moving your fingers and your toes. And then come up to your seat. Legs crossed or sitting on your heels, whichever way you're comfortable. And just take a moment to close your eyes. I like to close the practice with Bringing the hands to the heart. And give yourself a moment to acknowledge anything that makes sense to you to acknowledge today. I'm 
when you found something that feels nice, try to build that sensation in your heart. And then spread it around the whole body. And then extend it out. Extend it back. And all the way around. And take a deep breath. Slow breath out. And open your eyes. Have a lovely evening. I hope you enjoyed that. And see you soon. Namaste.